We didn't really realize that she had a problem until like the AEA comes to the school and checks everyone's hearing. It was one of the first things that we noticed was just the little things. It's like, would you go do this? And she completely does something. Or com- like, that's not what we said. Well, that's what I heard. The first year they checked it, they told us, oh, don't worry about it. You know, she probably just has a little cold. But the next year they checked it again and it was just a little bad. And so then we checked it out um, and she had to get hearing aids. Yep, so this is where the programming goes. And then it goes through the cord and is transmitted to this part. And then just this magnet holds it on. Because without background noise, I can hear pretty much normal hearing aids, but with background noise, it's like, it like drops, kind of. One minute till the bell rings. Sometimes we're at the lunchroom, we're talking, and sometimes I won't be able to hear her because everyone's being so loud or I had a doctor say one time when I was young, like 10, 12, maybe um, she doesn't see because she doesn't want to see. So that's the kind of thing I've always had all my life. It eventually came to a point where the doctors were like, yeah, there is something going on. I'm like, that's what I've been telling you. <laughs> you can't say that it's stable and not changing when it's getting worse every single appointment. That I'd, and I just told her, I said, whatever it is that's just going to be thrown at you, you'll handle it. So, I, you know, because it's not, it's not a terminal thing, so we can handle it. Um, she has an OPA1 gene mutation, and they got really specific on where it all is and everything. It's just like how my eyes, and that's how this is pale, and it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that color. So it's like we're slowly dying. So what, what is that called? The part that's dying. The optic nerve. Yeah. That just means she has dominant optic atrophy. Um, plus, and the plus you're is stable. the hearing you're loss, stable. like balance, and then they listed off like all the different problems. That, disorder. Well, they say you know they can't give you like an exact date. Like this is the date she's gonna go blind. You know, like whatever. But they can kind of guess, but you know it, it is just a guess. Um, and they. they always She doesn't let on and like at all that most of the time that she's really dealing with an issue. Like, I won't try to run into people, but I do or I'll like try to get up and I just fall back down instead. I think it's more concern about like her future. Like, you know, is she going to be able to live on her own, you know, because without being able to probably drive and everything else, you know, how will she get to where she needs to go. I wanted her to be able to see or feel whatever she can have happen that she has to try to hurry up with. Just want to go see the Eiffel Tower, kind of. Yeah. And we're trying to accomplish as much of it as we can get done for. I'm still hoping at some point they'll call and say, hey, let's try this. <laughs> <laughs>